It is one of the most debilitating birth defects. For many children born in Africa's rural areas, they're condemned to permanent disability. Running, playing and going to school will not be options for them. But thanks to a revolutionary technique developed more than 60 years ago, it doesn't have to be this way. The story of steps began in 2003 when Cape Town mother Karen Moss gave birth to her son Alex. Her joy was tempered when she was told Alex had club feet. Karen learnt that approximately one in 500 children are born every year in Southern Africa with the condition. These statistics make clubfoot one of the most common birth defects in the region. When told by doctors that Alex would need surgery, Karen looked around for an alternative solution. Her search led her to a Spanish doctor living in the United States, Dr. Ignacio Ponsetti, who had pioneered a revolutionary treatment for clubfoot decades earlier. Karen traveled to see Dr. Ponsetti, and within weeks, Alex was on his way to a normal life. The Ponsetti method involves fitting a series of simple, properly applied plaster casts every week until the child's feet are in the normal position. A brace is then worn when the child sleeps until the age of four to prevent relapse. In 95% of cases, the Ponsetti method properly applied can correct club foot within four to six weeks. Although the treatment should ideally start shortly after birth, children as old as 14 have also been successfully treated. Karen was amazed that Dr. Ponsetti's method was not more widely known. So Steps was born. Karen organized the first South African Ponsetti training for doctors in 2006. And following on this, the method was introduced into the medical curriculum at hospitals. To assist parents, who are a vital part of the treatment for four years, Karen developed the Ponsetti for Parents in-clinic education program. This included take-home leaflets, posters and a DVD for screening in clinics. STEPS has trained in-clinic parent advisors to implement the program. Karen and an artist friend created a bedtime storybook for children sleeping in the clubfoot brace. STEPS also facilitated the first clubfoot data collection in Southern Africa for research purposes. To raise awareness of clubfoot and its treatment, STEPS organizes World Clubfoot Day and Ponsetti races in Johannesburg and Cape Town. As Clubfoot and Ponsetti treatment advocates, Steps issues regular press releases, does media interviews and makes use of social media platforms. Today, Steps supports Clubfoot clinics across South Africa and in Botswana, Namibia and the Seychelles. Steps trained doctors are internationally recognized faculty trainers who teach the method at their clinics and at workshops in Southern and East Africa. As a result, use of the Ponsetti method in the region is here to stay. Unfortunately, all these efforts reach only about a thousand of the estimated 2,200 children born with the condition in South Africa, Namibia and Botswana each year. Much more needs to be done. Patients in unserviced rural areas have far to travel for treatment. This can cause treatment dropout and compromise outcomes. The program needs to be extended to other clinics across the subcontinent. Clinics need to be supported with training, materials and braces. An SMS system to remind parents about their appointments and treatment education is waiting to be rolled out. STEPS wants to train more parent advisors and clinic administration assistants to support understaffed partner clinics. Impoverished parents could be assisted with transport subsidies to ensure that their children get treatment. Funding is also needed for at least another thousand braces in the coming year. STEPS wants to ensure that every child born with clubfoot will have equal access to the Ponsetti method. The ultimate objective is to eradicate clubfoot as a deformity in Africa. 
Please help us expand steps today and assist a child to stand on its own two feet. Visit our website www.steps.org.za or call us at 021-462-7357.